Hey, what's happening, guys and gals? Welcome back to Batman Begins, and we're fighting ninjas. Yay! Ninjas! In the comments section below, tell us what you would do if you ran into a ninja. Run away screaming! I mean, oh, I'll write it in the comments. Run away... Okay. Alright, so I've been uh, practicing my ninja butt-kicking skills since the live stream. I've noticed. I ain't afraid of no ninjas. He'll destroy thousands of lives. Anymore. Millions of lives. Gotham cannot be allowed to survive. It is the breeding ground for crime and suffering. Gotham is the heart of modern decadence and filth. We must rip that heart from our chest. So, Mortal Kombat style? Yeah. So, Kiwi, okay, I have a question about Ra's al Ghul in this movie. Yes. I was just wondering. Um, Rish. Yeah, whatever. Rish, Ra's, whatever. Why you um, say? How'd I miss? Yeah. <laughs> like, he looks like, you know, Celtic or. Gotham can be saved. Not this time. And all those dead innocents. Innocents? No. Sacrifices. Like your parents. Like you. Man, that was an impressive jump. Alright. Isn't Ron supposed to be Middle Eastern? Mm hmm. So, why did they make him Qui Gon Jin in this? Um, it's like, kind of weird. I can explain. Maybe because, because the actor was so amazing? <laughs> well, actually, they made Ubu or Ra's al Ghul look like uh, uh, Asian I first. Oh, okay. You still not learn to mind your surroundings oh, yeah. as well as your opponent. Oh, I didn't mind my surroundings! Sorry, Qui Gon, I didn't mean to talk over you there. This no, is over, Dakar. My name is Raz al Ghul, and for you, this is very much over. Goodbye, Wayne. Your name is Raish! Ah, oh, whatever. It's an argument that will always persist. Whether it's the animated series Raish, or whether it's Batman <laughs> Begins Raz. So they may have. They made him Asian at first, and then they made him Qui Gon, which was interesting. That's the only thing that bothered me about him. He was pretty cool, but I was just like, what? I always thought his name meant, like, Rash. Rash. He's evil that spreads. I think we should call him Rash Al Ghul. That's like between the two. There you between go. Ras. Yeah. Or Ross. <laughs> Rash. Rosberry. Uh, Rash. But no, yeah. in, what they did in Christopher Nolan's version, Alfred, how Henry Descartes is one of the. Right. Of course, Master Bruce. Mr. Fox, however, appears to be in something of a moment. Lucius, where is he? In the kitchen, surrounded by flames. I couldn't I'll save him. Then I'm coming to you. I'll buy the grand piano, sir. Hurry. I will hurry. Through fire. Yeah. So, anyway, Henry Descartes was a, um, kind of like British guy who trained Batman in the 70s, mm -hmm. in the Bronze Age. So all they did is they took his backstory, they took his character, and instead of making him Henry Descartes, like a member of the League of Assassins or whatever he was, oh. they made him really be Ra's al Ghul. Or when Ubu died, Ubu was really Ra's al Ghul, and Henry Descartes took his name. It's what? Christopher Nolan never really explained. So that guy who died could have been Raz Ra's. Yeah, kind of like the Dread Pirate Roberts. Everybody just kind of like takes oh. that name every century or something so like that. So there was another guy who was like basically Qui Gon's character. Henry Tacard, you said, or somebody like it, that. It could yeah. have been like Christopher Nolan never explained it. Was, it. They it kind of that. explained it in one of the novels or the comic books, like kind of like there was a, a Lazarus pit and there was this mythical element of Henry Tacard being alive for a very long time, and his wife was actually killed in the uh, Middle Ages or something like that. Yeah, you know. All right. Another thing I don't understand, like Ra or whatever his name is in the animated series, he actually lives in a real country, has armies of people and stuff mm -hmm. like that. This dude just lives on a mountain, and there's hardly anyone who can reach a mountain. How are you supposed to get an army of people? The League of Shadows lives in Tibet, though. That's where. But oh, so that's just League of Shadows. This is only army. I thought the other Ra Raz. Rash. <laughs> Rash. I thought the other Rash in the animated series had whole countries at his disposal. Oh, basically. yeah. Yeah, because I thought the one in the animated series was more powerful than this one. Well, he was Muslim in the uh, animated series. Yeah, he had like an comics. entire, he had an entire like Arab country that he owned or something. Yeah. Several. Yeah, several. Exactly. He was in control of like... You several. don't know how far um, 
<laughs> rashes reaches in. We don't know that. Yeah, you're right. There were a lot of things. Uh, find that corpse. And I want to burn to death. All we know is that sword. Bruce Wayne blew up like an important base for where the League of Shadows trained, or League of Assassins, whatever they're called in this. I don't remember if they're yeah. League of Shadows, League of Assassins. It's one or the other. Mm -hmm. And in the new 50, or sorry, the DC Rebirth comic books, the League of Shadows are a, like, hoax, and the League of Assassins are the, oops. No bullets! Last! I didn't want to mess up this part, but I did oh, anyway. sorry, I got you distracted. Ah! Yeah, you're right. In the animated series, he definitely was. Aha! You can't hit me! Oh, oh sorry. He hit me. <laughs> Sadness! Ah, uh, deja vu. Alright, well... Thank you for answering that, because that always bothered me. Well, like I said, Christopher Nolan never really went into a lot of it. You have to read, like, some of the the material that they were doing and some of the stories they plucked, but they basically did their own version of Scarecrow... Hold your Rash. Breath. You may come this way. Rash, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the He's an evil itch. In the animated series, he definitely was from, like, Arab or Muslim culture because of some of the stuff he said he and where he was and stuff. We well, the demon's head was based on, like, a Muslim folklore or something like that. Mm hmm But also, um, you know, yeah, he uh, called, he Indo called, Indonesian. Yeah. But he'd just say certain things that you knew he was from that area, like... And also Talia, like, and some of the, the women also dressed, like, very Arabic... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that bothered me because I was like, why did this guy totally different? So I guess they change um, Roz depending on where he, the blood incarnation. Right. A lot of people believe that when Ubu died, because the character is actually named Ubu if you look in the credits to Batman Begins. Oh. Um, when Ubu's dead, either you he was pretending to be Raish and, hey, you know, you? Henry Descartes was Don't just ask. not We're acting sure. like him, or, you know, when he died, he took over the identity. Yeah, he Hence was, the whole symbolism. Or maybe he was the heir to the the throne. There's no heir. It's it's a uh, you know. Well, like he was the survivor starts over. And, so whoever survived would be the uh, next person then. But you know, the ninjas can't get past the doors. <laughs> doors are ninjas' weakness. Need to remember that, guys. When chased by a ninja, hide in a door. I I felt a little disappointed. I kind of wanted the first guy to be reached because he looked cool. His mustache was awesome. I mean, no offense to Koi Gun Jin, he was pretty cool. Well, he had to go. Both characters had to go T the same if you really thought about it. Because oh, yeah, both of them looked like Ray Shogo. Oh, yeah, they both did have the same facial mm -hmm. hair. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Weird. I wasted so much time in the live stream not knowing what I was supposed to do in here. Right. But now I know everything, so. This really has been Noob Questions with oh. K Wife. But yeah, like I said, a lot of people believe that he was just kind of like next in line. And then he went and he got his own ninja stuff, or he was always Raish, and that's why he was able to go collect even more ninja army to invade Gotham, because that one base was destroyed. So, I mean, they, they leave a lot to the imagination. I felt like the... I can't keep saying his name, because I, I don't know Rash. which one it is. Rash! Rash! Oh! Yeah. Evil! So, so Rash... Gotta scratch it. Like in the Arkham <laughs> Arkham games, he looked kind of like the Rash from the animated series a little bit. He didn't look like qui at he all. He was the Paul Dini version. Okay, yeah. But tweaked for modernness. <laughs> yeah. But I still feel like they didn't really treat um, him very well in the no, Arkham games. they didn't. It wasn't because a, there are times cool where enough. Batman knows who he is and knows that he has a Lazarus pit and all this other stuff. And then there are times where even Paul Dini's writing got a little sloppy, and it's like, uh, so... Batman knows he has Lazarus Pits, or he just discovered he had Lazarus Pits? Because the first thing he says, if he's dead again, I need to wake him up. So that means their paths would have crossed. And when Talia says, you know, we spent the night together in Metropolis, that it shows that the whole Ra's al Ghul thing happened already, previously. Yeah. So, you know, Dick Grayson being abducted, all that other stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to call him Rash all the time from now on. Oh, just like, to annoy people? Yeah, and then when they ask me, you know, like, oh, you're pronouncing it wrong. Have I? I'll be like, you know what? It's called Rash. That's the actual Is his name correct, or is it open to interpretation? I think, yeah, exactly. Are his methods supernatural, or... Uh... Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Hey. Well, like, in the animated series, uh, Roz was, like, the most, 
<laughs> Raj, 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 was... Morgan Freeman. It felt like he was the most... I felt that he was... Oh, oh, sorry. I'll Lucius, tell you later. What are you still doing here? I was nearly killed by some maniac in black pajamas. You have to get out of here. We I'm need to manufacture pajamas. your neurotoxin antidote on a large scale. That would take weeks. We don't have weeks. The toxin's already been dispersed. It's in our water supply. That doesn't make any sense. The toxin's an inhalant. Putting it in the water wouldn't work. Unless... What? Unless you had a microwave emitter powerful enough to vaporize the whole system. The kind recently stolen from Wayne Enterprise. <gasps> Stay there! I'll find a way out for you! Dun dun dun! Morgan Freeman is so smart, but he can't open that door. Damn it. It's locked. I know. Well, I, you, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm just being stupid. Morgan Freeman knows all. I'm just trolling him. <laughs> oh, ninjas! All those science classes, and you can't open a stupid door. <gasps> I don't remember Morgan. I don't remember uh, Lucius being locked in here in the movie. I don't think he was. You want to know what confuses me, though? You have the same guy who played Lucius Fox ow, in the Batman Arkham games, yeah. and he's in the Telltale Batman games. It just... I don't know. It, it, it's like, so... Oh, yeah, so he's going to be Lucius in Gaming gaming Lucius. There's a Gaming Lucius here. Yeah. Well, Why are you blocking everything I'm doing, stupid ninja? I mean, ninja? if Lucius becomes a character... They, now they have to make a video game called Lucius. And then... <laughs> just like Sonic has a voice actor that stays with Sonic. There you go. Well, actually, they alternate every 10 to 15 years. Okay. Although, I think Roger Craig Smith has been Sonic the longest now. He's been Sonic for over yeah. 10 years. Pretty sure. It'll teach him to wear pajamas in your mansion. This yeah, is a mansion. Yeah, because the... Uh, Look at how fancy you're dressed. If you have to wear a suit, so does he. Un it's just so inappropriate for him to wear How that. How do I do this part again? Maybe not burning yourself with the fire. Yeah, that would be good. Burning myself with the fire would not be good. Well, like in the animated series, it felt like Breach was the most... most formidable oh, villain in the entire thing. Down here. Sorry. Also the only one who knew his secret identity. Yeah, he was the strongest. I hate and to trouble you, but... I am on fire. But we'll do you know how many episodes he appeared in? <laughs> He's a Simon Pat. Uh, not very many. I guess he just came once in a while. Five. Oh. Five episodes. So it felt like in the Arkham games, like, Raish was nobody because he got killed so quickly. Just well, I would have wanted to see more history, and that's why I would love... I mean, this is just me spitballing, but if you're going to do a future game about Damian Wayne, what they really needed to do is an Arkham Origins sequel that dealt with the demon's head. Mmm. I still don't understand that whole the demon's head thing, but I know it was in the animated series. But. It's Indonesian. Oh, okay. It's a, it's like a mythology thing. Ah. Alright, cool. Sounds very Actually, happy. it might even be Asian. I don't remember. Because you yeah. have to remember that Aladdin is actually not an Arabic tale. It yeah. was an Asian tale that was made Chinese. Arabic by Disney. Yeah. It was actually Chinese, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, Whee! there are things, different elements to different folklores, you know, different tales that go across cultures. They're just changed a little bit for each culture. So. Right, but basically he's like this mythical, um, you know, underworld type person. Yeah. But I don't... Yeah, I think it was like five or six episodes he was in because there was one where he had to fight a mummy. There was one where the League of Shadows kind of made themselves known over time, like through the different seasons. Yeah. I just remember the the first thing I think of when I think of well Rage in the animated series. Now save your own hide. Sorry. I will save my own hide. I, I always think of that episode where Batman takes a step in front of him. <laughs> the guy punches him and he's like, that's one. <laughs> I don't know. That was from the, the demon's head thing. Yeah. Like, it was either a two or three part series, I don't remember. That was one of my favorite episodes, actually. It was really well done. And that whole time he was basically uh, testing Batman, which was based on a, a 70s comic book. Like, art. Yeah. 
guy had a big ego, I'm telling you. The Bronze Age Batman stories, like I said, I would say about 80% of the animated Are you still series alive? was Bronze Age. You like the Bronze piano. Age. I'll be there. Oh, yes. when I was a kid, I thought these were all new Batman stories, and then when I became an adult, I learned that it was all adaptions from the 70s and 80s comic books. Because awesome. that's the stuff that Paul Dini and Bruce Timm grew up, like, uh, being fascinated by Batman. I mean, they, they grew up with the campy Batman, and then they were there for the Neil Adams, Denny O'Neill stuff. Which basically yep. made Batman the blueprint for the animated series. A dark, kind of solo hero. The yeah. only thing they didn't do is they gave him an actual, like, Batmobile, because in the 70s he just drew, like, an... Un he, he drove, like, an unmarked car. Yeah, I do like the, uh, the Telltale, um, Batmobile with its, its red car and it changes into That it. is something Batman so would do, so that was cool to see that That it's implemented. camouflaged. Yeah, because yeah. then you can't see him driving it up. You don't even know. The only problem, I would think, is if he's stuck in traffic and the thing short circuits and turns into the Batmobile. <laughs> yeah. Awkward. Hello, Alfred. I hope you didn't rush your mic out, sir. Wait, Alfred didn't save you from the log. Nope. The timeline has changed. Tomorrow the world will watch in horror as its greatest city destroys itself. Time to spread the word. And the word is... Panic. The word is spoilers! But yeah, when I went to go see this movie with you, I already Spoilers. knew probably about like six ah, of the movie. Did you guess that certain things that were gonna happen and then I was like, No. <gasps> oh, I don't even remember. I told you that I played the video game beforehand, Yo. so there were yeah, only a couple things that surprised me about it. This was not spoiled for me at all. But I was so excited playing this game before it came out, I was like, whoa. You get to watch less than HD versions of certain cutscenes. HD wasn't really around yet. Oh yeah, you're right. It wasn't. Beneath Wayne Tower. This was progressive scan. Because they started to push like HD televisions and HD stuff by like uh, late 2005, early 2016. It was too expensive. Yeah. And this is back when I was working at Sears. So this was like one of the last games. Chaos in Narrows Island. This was like one of the last games to come out before the HD sure. era. There appears to be a panic about mm. the Empire Bridge. There's a panic about the entire island. Ra's al Ghul's already vaporized the toxin. Of course, sir. But the crisis at hand is keeping it from spreading into Gotham proper. Someone is lowering the Narrowborough Bridge. Mobs poisoned by Crane's toxin could spill into the city. I'll stop the bridge. I'll put the control tower on your radar. And the uh, Batmobile? It stays on the tracks. The monorail can't reach Gotham without crossing that point. If I can't stop the train, the Batmobile's auto destruct is my fail safe. I actually thought the okay. Batmobile was going to blow up in the movie, though. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, you know, I was waiting the whole time because Jim Gordon was in the Batmobile, and I'm thinking, they wouldn't kill, you know. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I forgot about that, that he was in there. Did he tell Jim, like, hey, this is on auto destruct? No, like, because Jim didn't do that. Remember what he did differently? I don't remember. How the video game differs from the movie is Batman sets up Jim inside of the, uh... Batmobile over like somewhere in the narrows where the um the steel beams of the bridge are and then the Batmobile blows up the you know from a safe distance. Yeah. Totally. And Jim Gordon kind of saves the day. And that's why the train crashes. Mm. Because if it would go under Wayne Tower, then it would blow up uh, the pipes all over Gotham City. So only the Narrows was lost. Whoa. But, you know, just kind of like how they explained in the, the Flash TV show how metahumans got their powers, you know, with the um, accelerator explosion, how most of Gotham's crazies became insane is because of the Narrows. But I would have, you know, I was hoping to get like six to eight years or like six Nolan Batman movies explaining like all the different characters you know, that came from the Narrows and the Asylum and having Batman deal with that. But because of Heath Ledger's passing, everything had to be changed. Oh, 
Oh, right. Yeah. I didn't understand. I mean, what, if they could replace... Okay, no, no offense to East Ledger, because I understand he passed away, and that was very tragic. But if they could replace... Now I'm now I'm being whatever, really uh, heartless. Get to the could, point. If they could replace Katie Holmes, why couldn't they find somebody else to be his Ledger? I mean, to be the Joker. I saying. think it has to do with that whole girl power thing. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. They Rachel Dawes place. was such an important character that, you know, getting another woman to play it is, is better than just, like, getting rid of the character. I don't know. Batman, okay. come to join my tea party. Crane. Oh, no. Scarecrow. A few more minutes and the bridge will be down and Gotham will have so many more psychopaths than just you and I. I'm through playing games, Crane. Life is a game. So, yes... Maybe you are. Uh, Wait, how did Scarecrow not get blown up? It's a plot device. It's not supposed Scarecrow to be. Scarecrow was sense. right there the whole day. We're right next to each other. Yeah. Usually, if a bomb goes off and you're right next to someone, you both get blown up. Mm -hmm. Well, they're like six feet away. There's only one thing that I miss about movie licensed games that makes me a little bummed. Yeah. And I'm really surprised that they didn't do it with mobile, but, you know, Avengers and Batman, uh, they've all missed, like, a huge market of the video game license, and that that's something that I wish didn't change in 2005. Yeah. You know, there were a couple more movie licensed games in 2008, like when Iron Man came out or whatever. Oh, yeah. But because... The um, Dark Knight game was canceled, like the one with Christian Bale and all these other people, and they were really going to up the ante of. Um, oh, they were going to make a game. games. Yep. Oh, wow. They, they were going to up the ante of it and make like this really like pre Arkham type game. And yeah. a lot of those ideas from the canceled Batman Gotham by Gaslight and the Dark Knight video game ended up in Arkham Asylum. Oh. You know. So. It kind of, like, marked the end when 2009 rolled around, and people were like, okay, we're not getting this Batman game. Uh, it was just, it was a little sad, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, they did a couple Iron Man, they had a couple Thor games, and then by Green Lantern in, like, 2011, that was it for the movie license games. Yeah, because like, mm. Batman makes movie license games look cool. Well, sometimes. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, it's already been... Um, since 2011, it's been a while since that, so you would think that companies would kind of... Because it, it was a, kind of a lucrative thing, you know? They would make money on it, yeah. and, you know... I, I miss that, though. I really do miss the movie license games, because, I mean, they were just fun. Yeah, it was just... No. Uh oh. That's not... This guy. Bad acting. You're not human. Stay away. Don't come any closer. Aye, they. It's not happening. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid. So, Scarecrow and this one commit suicide. That sounded cool. like a rather final exit for Dr. Crane. Don't count on it until they've dragged the river. Madness can make men survive the impossible. <laughs> that man is so dark. Don't count on it until they drag the river. Yeah, Christopher Nolan's oh, Batman kills, so. Oh my gosh. I mean, because they watch the Keaton thing, and, you know, I'm, I'm blaming Mr. Sunday movies on something, though. The reason why um, Zack Snyder and DC went with the liberties they went with to the extreme in Batman v Superman is because of that video, Batman Kill Count. And they even referenced his video that got like millions of views showing all the different Batman killing in movies. Yeah. Because then they just went too far with Batman v Superman because they, just they, like, they justified it. Like, yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode. Join us next time for the finale of Batman Begins. Don't Woo! forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell us your favorite Batman in the comments below. See ya! Yeah.